Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to be building this uh, book uh, donation box for a local school. I've made one of these in the past and I'll show you some of these pictures in just uh, in the next scene. But um, anyway, this is going to a, a teacher requested it and I decided I would make it and turn it into a film. Unfortunately, it turns out the first uh, half a day worth of activity that I was filming using a GoPro Something happened to the disc, it got corrupted, and I've lost every bit of that video. So I do have some of it, and I'll show you that part of it. So now it's glue up time. Obviously you missed all the pictures of me cutting these pieces out. Uh, just working with three quarter inch plywood, and you can see me putting the base into the dado slot. Uh, the sides have been rabbited to allow for the three quarter inch boards to meet with a little bit of overlap. And later on I'll take that little bit of overlap off with a flush trim router bit. Uh, for now it's glue up time. So the sides, second side's coming in place, and uh, now the third side's getting ready to be put in place. And of course, I'll take a brad nailer and uh, attach those together with that brad nailer. So now it's time for the top. The uh, top has three three-quarter inch thick pieces of plywood, with the middle one having the slot for putting the books and. It's pretty much just cut the three pieces to size and then I will end up cutting them at the proper angles which is about 17 degrees so they fit nicely See the slot with each the books other. get put into the piece so now I just have to cut these at 11 or a 16 degree angle in order to get these done so 17.6 degrees so I'll take that out this in Here, 5, 10, 15, 17.6 degrees. So now that the three pieces have been done, I'm now going to uh, cut them on the saw at 17 degrees. And you'll notice the red throat plate around the saw. It has a wide space in there where little pieces of wood can fall and uh, get caught or maybe thrown back towards me. So you'll notice I take uh, small bits off at a time so that it doesn't so I don't cut off a large piece that falls down in there. Now you can see I've added another piece uh, to the uh, guide uh, and I'm doing this because the angle uh, tends to slide up underneath the fence so this piece attached to the fence prevents that from occurring and keeps the saw uh, cut nice and straight. So now it's time for the table saw sled because I'm going to cut all these boards to length but first I'm actually trimming a little bit off the end in order to get a nice clean cut. So that's all three pieces and now I will take them and trim them to actual length and so that they're ready to go. Each will have a three quarter inch overlap which is perfect for lifting this very heavy box and putting it into position. So I've uh, cut the tops on it. I'm uh, going to glue those up and uh, nail those on, but first I'm actually going to round over the edges so that they aren't sharp. One of the things I realized I forgot to do is I have to take the middle shelf, which is right here, and I have to make the slot for the uh, I have to make the slot for the books. It's a lot easier to do that now and round it over than it is when it's all put together. So we're back and I have the side of the uh, book box and we're going to be cutting a 12 by 12 hole in the side uh, to allow the books to be taken out. So I'm going to start by drilling a couple hole, 
uh, holes in the corners and then using the jigsaw to cut it out. And I got another piece of wood that uh, similar size I'll cut until it fits pretty tightly. I'll make sure I put it in the piano hinge and then a lock mechanism on this side or probably the opposite side, I guess. And uh, that will be it. Leave a little tag in the corner there to support it while I'm cutting this side. So now I'm going to fix this up here with the belt sander to take it right up to the line, get it as square as I can possibly get it. Then I'll put the door in with the hinge on the back side, lock up front. Now I've got all that cleaned up pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, take a hand block and sandpaper, get it really nice and squared up, and then uh, make the piece to fit, put the hinge in. All right, so it looks like the door's gonna fit, and the hinge will fit. Take this, measure it. One of the easy ways to secure the hinge when you're trying to screw it in place is uh, these little markings right here. I try to get that to line up with the outside and then hold it in place. I've actually applied some 3M uh, double-sided adhesive tape. This stuff's pretty strong. And uh, so now all I have to do is peel that off, put this in place, and I don't have to worry about holding on to it the whole time while I'm trying to drill into the door, because it will hold. And with that one in place, I will then try to secure this side and uh, push down and that will usually do it. So I'm going to start everything with the big stick. Got that. I just take these. on the door. It's looking good. And then we're going to try to secure this in place. So now I have the door working. I'm going to take this piece of wood, make a positive stop on the inside. Hmm. Got that little tab right there, you gotta cut that off somehow. So I think that is a good job for the Dremel tool. Here is the book box. It's all complete now. Obviously, you go up to the book box, deposit your book into it, and then after uh, a lot of people have made donations, you can slip the pin, take that, and pull your books right back out. Lock it up with a lock instead of pencil, but uh, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.